Hey guys, welcome to part two of this video. So I've been thinking, hey, I don't know if I should call this number three or number four, but I'm probably just gonna call it part th number three, part two, because I said that's what it'd be called in the last video. But then again, it's a little different. It relates to the other one, but it's not like the same thing. So I, I don't know. I'll, th I'll think of what to call this and you should already know because you're watching this video. But let's get back on topic. Hey guys, I'm Cal from TIR Inventions and today we have our carbon drone part two. Now I already discussed how the filter itself works and how you could apply it to a drone, a plane, factory, blah, 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 lots of different spots. But the most important one we're gonna be going over today is factory. And you'll know what I mean by the end of this video. So today I have recreate number three, part two or number four, I don't, I don't know. Either way, I'm Cal from TIR Inventions and let's just get into it. So you guys remember that tube I kept mentioning at the uh, during part one? Like I mentioned it a couple times and I said you push the carbon to a different spot, but I never actually said what that different spot was. So what I mean by that is what I like to call a carbon factory. Well, there might be a better name for it, but that's what I'm calling it for now. The carbon factory is a place where you take your carbon filters and then you can give your carbon to that factory. And what that factory will do will either turn your carbon dioxide into dry ice, right? Because frozen carbon dioxide is dry ice. And that would be pretty convenient for stores. It could take the price down to dry ice. I mean, I know it's not expensive, but like cheaper is cheaper, I'm just saying. But the main thing that these carbon factories could do is to take their carbon dioxide, put it under immense pressure all at once and recreate fossil fuels. Like we could make more coal from the stuff that's in the air. Here's what I'm saying. Instead of eliminating all, we can just reuse it, recycle it, you know, because there's no way, we can't eliminate it. Matter cannot be created or destroyed. But what we can do is we can reuse what we already have and just apply it in a different place. You see, we got plenty of carbon dioxide in the air right now. That's why the earth is getting warmer. It's called global warming if you haven't heard of it. But the whole point of this is to one, try to reduce it, but two, if nothing else, slow it down severely. We don't want the earth getting much warmer, ice caps are melting, that's very bad. But back to the actual invention itself. So this tube on the back, what you do is you take it and you stick the tube probably onto something and then it'll take the carbon that's inside your filter and push it through into the factory. Now the factory has all this trapped carbon dioxide in their storage, right? What do they do with it? Well, like I said, you put it under immense pressure and boom, you have coal. Coal is just carbon dioxide that's been put under pressure for years and years and years, which created this really compact carbon dioxide that is now solid and we can burn it to make fuel. Now, obviously that's not the new thing. Everyone's known that for a long time. I mean, if you've ever played Minecraft for one, I mean, coal is like the fuel. But this video is not about Minecraft. This fuel is about my carbon drones. So what you do, take the filter, you give your carbon dioxide, they put it under pressure and they make coal. And what you can do is you can reuse this coal. And if enough people do it, we can just reuse all the carbon dioxide that's in our atmosphere. Now, I know that sounds crazy and I'm, I don't even know if there's anything that can produce enough pressure just to create coal. I don't think we have anything that's strong enough hydraulically to do that, but I think it's a cool idea. And you know what, right now I'm gonna do some research, see what the strongest hydraulic press is, just real quick. A few moments later. Okay, I'm back. And I did some quick research and I found out the world's strongest hydraulic press, 80,000 tons of pressure. It's in China, it's 10 stories tall, and 80,000 tons of pressure is a lot. You wanna know how many pounds per square inch that is? Quick math, 80,000 times 2,000 is 160 million. 160 million. Wait, is that right? Actually, is that right? Oh God, I don't, I don't want to mess that up. Okay, no, I, I just did the math. That is right. I, I just had to check. <laughs> so, is our 10-story tall, 160 million pounds per square inch hydraulic press strong enough to create coal instantly from carbon dioxide gas? Let's find out. I'm gonna do a little bit of research again. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, after doing some research, I couldn't find an exact number of how much pressure per square inch it takes to make coal, but it turns out to make diamond, you only have to have 725,000 PSI to um, make diamond. So yes, yes, that hydraulic pressure could very easily actually make diamonds. And actually, I didn't think of that before, but that could be another benefit. We can make diamond. Okay, let me, let me explain. So we take the carbon, we push it under pressure, we can make coal, which is our main use because we want to reuse the sources, or we can make diamond, the hardest metal on earth that's also one of the most versatile and one of the most desired. So that could actually drive diamond prices down. So for us guys who need to get an engagement ring, then I'm just saying that that's a huge, that's a huge deal. 
but we can also get coal and weaker hydraulic presses to reuse the sources. So actually there's a lot of benefits to being able to crush this carbon dioxide from the filters. Okay, well that's about all I have to say in this video. I'm Cal from CR Inventions, and I'd like to ask you guys, did you like my idea? Did you like part one? And if you haven't seen it, then why'd you watch this whole thing? Go watch part one right now. And yeah, that's about it. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next recreate or whatever video I make. Bye.